Hey, Juice, let me know, sir. All right, y'all. So today we're going to be making a cool little ESTG type beat. You know, he likes them slow, dark, melodic, piano driven type beats. Uh, I ain't finna hold it on any longer. We finna just get straight to it. Hey, so if y'all enjoy the video or, you know, you learned something from the video, consider subscribing, leave a like, and uh, leave a comment of what y'all want to see next. All right, let's get into it. All right, for ESTG beats, um, usually like some slow in BPM. So we finna go down to like 80. Um, and I'm gonna pull up a piano from Keyscape. You can pull up one from, you know, Nexus or even FL Keys, but this is the one I prefer. The cinematic piano, that's my favorite. Oh, and before I start, I wanna throw in a scale because I'm not really good at, um, I'm not good at music theory. transpose this so how to transpose a note you just select whatever note you want to move uh control up or down um and it just moves it an octave up or down depending on you know where you move it uh, in this case i'm gonna go up another thing i like to um humanize my pianos do they just hit alt r and then just mess with this velocity tab right here you know, just to just give it more of like a, a human play. Another thing I like to do with my dark pianos to make it darker. What I like to do is I like to hit control A and this little piece right here, this little stretchy boy. I like to just hit alt and bring it in a couple bars, you know, so it's halfway. And what I do is I bring it into the mixer and then I throw halftime on it. So it gives it a darker piano, you know? Yeah, that just sounds darker already. And I'm just gonna bring it up an octave just so it doesn't sound too muddy. Let's add some reverb. Oh shit, forgot to duplicate it. This EQ for the piano. Um, we're gonna be taking the bass out. All you want to do is right here. You can use your scroll wheel to like change the curve, or just click and drag down. You want to get to right here when you get this little curve, and then this little dot right here. Bring it down to four so you get that, you know, more defined curve. And then just bring it out to where you can, you know, get rid of that bass so your 808 can fit there. Now I'm going to add in a bass piano. Um, probably going to pull one up from Nexus. And now we're going to throw in our bass notes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Alt and scroll wheel. Or you can just, you know, click it just to bring it up in velocity. So let's get this. Control L to legato just to, you know, bring in these notes. start immediately it kind of just goes up into it so the attack knob right here i'm gonna bring it into like 45 or 50 let's get a pattern down for this uh, control l to legato
just up an octave. Remember, just control up and down on the the directional keys. Put another sound in here. I'm probably gonna put a pad in here. I think that's solid for the for the melodies. So now we finna get into the drums. You know, ESCG he likes those fat snares or those rim blocks. I'm gonna use a snare for this beat. Like this one. This one's chunky. quick thing about my 808s um when it comes to spins at least what i like to do is i like to get a short spins you know one that doesn't have a long tail you know something like this you know it hits quick and what i like to do is go into here and this boost knob i like to bring it up just like two percent and you can see it like up here when you're tweaking this knob um oh also another thing Soft clipper on the master. That's mandatory for, you know, 808s and kicks. So let's cut itself right here by right clicking the sample, clicking cut itself. And let's make a pattern. Velocity's all the way up too. drums are crazy as hell um i i recommend you know he just likes simple two-step but you know for the sake of this tutorial i'm gonna just i'm gonna sauce him up a little bit so control l so legato and let's begin doing the pattern <laughs> Control A right here, how I did that, just to, you know, get the rolls and then right here you can control the rolls. <laughs> and all I'm doing right here is just clicking the um, outside note and I'm right clicking on my mouse to like do this, you know, get the little ramp. <laughs>
think that's it for the for the beat. Let's lay this out. First things first with the 808. With legato, all the notes. Control L. And we want to go into this little tab right here. Turn the attack down. Turn the hold all the way up. Turn the decay down. Sustain. What the hell does that say? Oh, and the release. <laughs> all right, so now we finna lay this beat out. So right here, if you have FL20, you can right click your pattern and click split by channel. And what we're gonna do is control click the first one and then shift, click the last one. And we're gonna drag it in. All right, now that we got in, let's lay this out real quick. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mix the beat, um, at least on camera. Uh, maybe my next tutorial, if y'all wanted to see a, how I mix my beats, um, leave a comment, let me know. But yeah, that's basically how you make an ESTG beat, man. Um, like I said, you know, you learn something different from this video. You know, consider subscribing. You know, leave a like on the video, and uh, comment which I want to see next, man. But yeah, hey, Joe, let me know, sir. Hey, Jokes, let me know, sir. Hey, Jokes, let me know, sir.